Well, if you love all things crafty, if you love rocks and minerals, our next guest might be a store you might want to look into. It's called Prairie Pan Pan D, correct? Yep. And I'm here with pa uh, Pamela and Raj, and they're here to show me a little bit more about their products that they have. Okay, the first thing catching my eye that I think we should talk about, is this a lo lobster, a real it one? It is, it's a fossilized lobster, mm -hmm. and it's from Indonesia. Wow. So how do you guys get things that are so international? How do you bring that into your inventory? We, I talk to a lot of different um, people online that are actual mm -hmm. miners, and I like to buy personally from their families so that I oh. can support their, their lifestyle and everything that goes with it. So it's a little like free trade there, right? Yeah. yeah. So when it comes to other items here, what is your favorite necklace? And you were telling me you do a little bit of silversmithing. Can you tell me a little more about that skill set and how you bring that into your jewelry craft? Oh, I do, you know, very little bit, you know, just learning, you know, yeah. <laughs> not like at a professional level, but I do, you know, stuff like this. Uh, I made that one. So can, I want to see if the camera can get a little bit more closer up and just see like how much detail is really inside of this uh, necklace here. I mean, do you, is this all handcrafted, handcrafted and where did yeah, you get the that rock? Yeah, the rock, you know, I you know, actually, you know, I have the machine to, you know, uh, cut the rocks. Mm -hmm. I polished it and, you know, set everything uh, in the silver. Wow, it's really pretty. Like everything here is really hand handcrafted. What makes you guys so special compared to other retail stores? Oh, we are home based. Yeah, and we you are know home our prices are pretty cheap compared to you know other yep. areas. Yeah, we operate out of our home, and then um, we don't buy from wholesalers. We buy from individuals, and then um, we make a lot of our different things ourselves. So when you uh, buy directly from the farmers and the local people from those communities, instead of going the wholesale route. How was it like just hearing their stories and just hearing, I mean, like to me, like if you found this lobster, this, there's got to be a story behind this. There is a group of guys of about 15 of them and they have to make a human chain to go underneath oh into caves. Wow. And then they dig probably 10 feet into a hole after they get in a cave mm -hmm. and they have to have that many people to get back out. Wow, so that's, <laughs> that's pretty intense. And for you, you, know, you grew up here in Moorhead, Minnesota, but for you, you are a new American. So what is it like coming here to America and how is it that you're still embracing your culture back home and bringing it here into your art? It's interesting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I hardly lived, uh, like, I lived half of my life over here, half over there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you know, it's fun, you know, wherever you go, you make your home. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. But your connections that you have back home, uh, you know, for where your other family is, do they ever help out when it comes to at least striking deals here with farmers and other no, local no. merchants? No. Uh, I don't have anything from Nepal other than, you know, local kyanite. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. <laughs> yeah. So what is your favorite kind of stone that you have? Uh, I like you know, all sort of stones. I like uh, lace agates. This one is a lace agate. This one is probably uh, one of his favorites. So. Okay. Yeah. And, and for you, when you're choosing the stones, is there a particular reason why you pick that or you just go with the stone? Oh, uh, no. It actually, you know, it, it comes with a different type of, you know, color and then, you know, way to, you know, pick it, you know. It, it's just not the you know, color alone, you know. It comes with a you know, translucency or uh, how transparent it is kind of like those things and we can't see it until it's sliced yeah. so Real, that's yeah. that's so amazing is that you're almost it's like a surprise at the end it's oh like yeah. a surprise box right. it's like a geode you know you never know wow. until you crack it open wow. what is that experience like when you just grab the rock and you just kind of hope for the best have you ever gotten one where you're just absolutely surprised compared to one where you're just like oh man that wasn't the best one to crack yeah sometimes you know when i you know, slap the rock you know it cracks like you know oh. mil million pieces and pull material is a toast but oh, you know man. when uh, for others you know you cut it and you know, it comes out you know pretty good and you know you, you see you know what you wanted absolutely so when it comes to just going back to your startup you guys are working from home yeah. you guys have the store the home base store yeah. so how what inspired you to get that started well, our personal collection um, I had started just collecting pieces here and there and um, got in touch with an awful lot of miners and they uh, talked me into buying a lot more than one piece. So yeah, they always they always <laughs> seem to do that. Some good salesmen they can always talk you into buying more than you need. Yep. But I guess that's that's the name of the business. And the there. other the other thing is we like to focus on kids. So we have a lot of different kid options that are like ten dollars and under, I guess, so mm -hmm. that kids can get interested in rocks and still have fun with it. So absolutely. Well, there's lots of fun. Well, thank you guys for so much coming on. See, I love. 
showing like those homegrown businesses that are made right here in Fargo Moorhead area. And their information is right there on your screen. You can check out their Facebook page. We have their phone number on there and also their website. So thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on today's show, a brand new CBD business that's growing their product right here locally.